Hello beautiful people and happy Sunday. Uh, for those of you who may not have been here before, my name is Steven ESC and uh, a little bit of a multi-streamer doing different things, but mostly Minecraft, so welcome, welcome. So we've got Cosmic in the chat right off the bat. Thank you always for being here, Cosmic. Big love to you. And Aldabar as well, also a lovely human. Big love to you as well. Welcome on in. We've got Stardust, hello. And Lag as well. Six months guest. Oh my goodness. Did I miss a notification? I did not hear it. The gift that keeps on giving. Right. Yes, thank you very much, Cosmic, for the six-month gift subscription to Lag. I, that did slip my mind. I apologize, but thank you very much for that. Subhype indeed. Nice. So, Lag, welcome on in. Stardust, I can't remember if I said hello, but hello to you as well. Nice. And I apologize if I missed anybody in the mix there. And I was going to wait till other people showed up, Cosmic, because I did remember this time. I was going to do the lovely shout out for the lovely Cosmic as well. Thanks for catching Aldabar there. Nice. Right, so welcome on in, folks. We're going to do a... Oops. Now, apparently look right up my pants, but look, trying to keep this PG-13. That got awkward quickly. <laughs> so I'm uh, still going to work on the Town of Asteria today in terms of uh, greening the area. I think we did, we've done a good job so far. Um, this whole area was cement over here and a big cement patch over here and some over in the uh, northeast a little bit so we're gonna head back to Dartmouth Meadows and grab a, a bunch more dirt and I think I'm just gonna cover this area and not to worry much about the outskirts there I'm just going to leave that because this down here I, I don't think there's going to be any town down in this area and I just wanted to be sort of focused on this area backwards I am just I've sort of left myself unsure of what I want to do with this part, but I think this is going to be... Because I've got that mountain, and I can't can't do anything about that mountain, so I'm just going to do what I can. Focus on that gray area. Hopefully it shan't take too long. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, that was a... Yeah, view of... That's a view of me that nobody needed to see, even myself. Oh, funny, I got the white t-shirt. I was planning on changing this because I knew it would be a bright spot on the screen. I decided to wear it for a walk outside this morning. All right, so without further ado, um, what well, is going to be bedtime soon? Actually, I've got a f I think. There we go, I made it that time. I crashed the other time I tried that. I think I have a few of these trapdoor roof things left open. Maybe that is not... The, yeah, I left another one open. Do I not... Do not want rain to get in. I could take... Ugh. 72 streams later, the mountain comes down. <laughs> You're right. I could. But I don't know that I want to. Now you've got me thinking, Cosmic. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Who needs a mountain here, right? Actually, the mountain's kind of cool. It's really broken up and stuff. Oh, I almost died in that to that random block floating there. That is a really weird, weirdly generated landscape. I don't think I'm mentally prepared to tackle a mountain right now. Although it looks like there's a bunch of dirt on top of the mountain, so we could use that as a dirt source later if we have to. But for now, we're going to head to Dartmouth Meadows. That's hilarious. I didn't realize how close that pour was <laughs> for the longest time. Look, you know, if you decide to do something like that, I'd help. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that you would follow down that insanity hole with me. Or just, not insanity, but you know what I mean. The, uh, the tedium that would be involved in that. I think that would be probably, if we tackle something like that, it would be partially on stream, partially off stream, because that's a, a ton of work. It'd be, well, mind you, it'd be three months worth of streaming content. <laughs> Whee. Oh, don't bang into the silo. What do I have for a field of view here? Do I still have my speed running? No, we're at 90. I feel like 90 is a little bit... Maybe it's just when I'm flying it probably goes pretty wide. Oh, did I bring a shulker box? I did not. I was totally meaning to bring a shulker box. Well, this time... 
Huh. I'm not leaving much dirt left if I take that. Hmm. Well, perhaps we are shaving some of that mountain top off. Don't necessarily feel right grabbing all of that. Oh, cosmic. Um, are you still okay if I take some dirt from your your um collection? I did have to use some last stream after you had left, but I noted noticed that you have a fair amount there. If you're okay with that still, I would like to uh, take you up on that offer. Okay, cool. Oh, that was bad, Lane Steven. We'll take a quick nap here, folks, and then we'll head over. Oh wait. I have a boat to shulker here. Nice. So we can actually get a lot of a lot of dirt. Hello, Isaiah Brooks. Good morning to you as well. Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Ah, deliciousness. This tea is at a good uh it's like on the verge of good sipping temperature and good gulping temperature, so I think I'm going to end up going through it a lot quicker than I normally would. Which is fine. I made the tea for said for the stream. This is a nice clear area over here. Hmm. It makes me wonder if it'd be worthwhile tackling anything over there. I don't know what I would put there, but there's there's part of me that likes the idea of venturing out further to see what was out there in the world, but then there's part of me that just likes the idea of building Dartmouth Meadows up further. Oh uh, no, this is the wrong way. We want to go to this place. A little bit too close, quick on your uh, approach there, Stephen. Yes, see. I don't think I've proper properly looked at this. Like, how new is this? And that I have not stopped to take the time to look at it. No, we've seen this. This is the, um, the flower farm, right? Right. I don't think I've seen it since it's been finished, though. It's awesome. So what do you, do you just... I'm not going to do it right now, but when, when using this, do you just turn it on? A couple of months old, I think. Yeah, this been, it's been a while since I've actually come in between the Lego streams and the Adobe Illustrator stream and then... and uh, mining for ancient debris. I've not been over here in a while. It's very cool. Perhaps Cosmic, one time uh, we are on stream together, if you don't mind. Or it doesn't even have to be. One time we're on together. I'll have you show me how it works. It's very cool. Oh yes, Cosmic, but it... Hello, kitty. Oh no, wait. I'm supposed to close the door, right? It's a big uh, social faux pas. Cool, thank you. I think that'd be awesome. Steven can fly down the stairs if he wants to, right? Eh? Steven will not fly down the stairs. And I, yes, I found that you had, like, you extended your... You're a cavern down even further. That's cool. Uh, where the dirt is. I believe it was over here. Oh, yeah, you got dirt. You got some dirt. <laughs> Cosmic. You can have some if there is any. Well, my dear, you've got some dirt. All right. No, I know, I know. This is funny. All right, I'll do this. Easy there, llama. I have permission. top one. I might as well do the top one first, since I've gone for that. As much as I need as often as I like. Well, Cosmic, thank you very, very much. Ho hopefully I won't need to go back too many times because I don't. Like even just content-wise for the stream, I don't know if I want to be uh, doing covering dirt for too many more streams than today. 
perhaps one more. This is a bunch of dirt, that's awesome. Truly appreciated. Nice. <gasps> Ginger the lilies in the house? Nice. Always the generous showing up with extra clothing for everyone. Oh, no, I made a, mis made a mistake. Push, put back, uh... Do you have a spot for seeds? Because I can put seeds somewhere. No. All right, then I should put back some dirt. Do you have like a little lava disposal area for stuffs? I probably don't. All right. Um, dirt be gone. Put back a stack of dirt. Boop. Because I do need that in that uh, call. Not. I call it a cobble chest, and then a coral chest. Well, it's a box. Shulker box. Oh my goodness. That was uh, embarrassingly painful on stream. Happy Sunday to you as well, Ginger. I always think it's nighttime when I come up here. Like I've stepped out at the wrong time of day. And I've got to be ready to do battle at a moment's notice. Oh, that was a, a leap of faith that led nowhere. Talking of bacon, I need to make breakfast. What? Who was talking of bacon? Oh, with bacon, nice. Bacon wrapped ginger. Bacon wrapped ginger. Ginger bacon would probably be pretty darn good, actually. I've never had it. So I cannot speak to it from experience, but. Yeah, there's just something appealing about to me. There's something cool about building out further, but something just appealing to me about sticking to uh, Dartmouth Meadows that I don't want to go too, too far. Maybe because of the, uh, it still makes it easy to travel around in the nether. There we go. Render distance was a bit far, but now we're there. And Jay Price? What, did I miss Jay Price showing up? Oh, that was Jay Price that said I'll take some bacon. It's the same color as Cosmic. Oh, no, no, it's not. It is on... Hold on. Let me let me land. And then I will take a look at chat. Yeah, so in the Minecraft chat. The same color. So that's what I saw. So apologies for that. Welcome on in, Jay Price. Oh, yes. Okay, so first thing we need to do is uh, fix the creeper hole. I was trying to get rid of some, some baddies before uh for the stream but <laughs> that didn't happen as smoothly as I would have liked now, do I have some cobblestone in me still I do not so let's get some cobblestone to fill in the bottom of that first um, and for that I suppose I will just take you and chuck you down there, but I'll be back. We've got five minutes. Five minutes. Uh, no, I just, um, for the creeper, I try to hit them once and back away and then come back with the critical hit the second time. But I missed the critical hit, hit second time, so I managed to back up and not, not take any damage, but they were still uh, angered enough to uh, blow their top, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But yours truly, aka me, in this case, referring to myself, I did not die. So far, no dearths this morning. Um, actually, let's, uh... I'll take these um, seeds I have. Uh, we'll do that. Oh, you just can't place them anywhere? Really? Why are you gonna be like that? I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Gosh darn it! Fine! Seeds be gone. Here I am trying to do things... Here I am trying to be Minecrafty, and I'm just clearly missing the mark on... 
an airy attempt. There we go. Alright, sorry seeds, you gotta just chill there. Actually, you don't. You like to eat this bread and pick you right up. And then we'll change that for some tiltan. Oops. Wish I'd have realized that. I can combine these two, and then I would have had more room for dirt. Oh well. I'm still, um... The idea of building out a town, not gonna lie, stressing me out, uh, stressing me out a little bit. Wait, didn't we have a plug-in or something that would cover the sides of the blocks with grass as well, if I remember correctly? Well, thank you, Cosmic, for the uh, for the moral boost. But... Sometimes I'm playing Minecraft and I feel like I'm literally just going um um um. Vanilla tweaks. Okay, thanks, Aldebar. What? I thought I turned that off, but clearly I did not. Gosh darn it. We could add another thing to bingo. Two hours. Now we're going to do four hours because I'll be on the computer later. Oh, all right, bingo. We are on to one red dab. There we go. Mini packs has joined the fray. Hello, hello. Welcome on in. Um, almost nighttime, so let's go take care of the nighttime business. Cosmic, I do appreciate, even though the fact that that's supposed to be uh, not supposed to show up, that you do uh, that you look away. Looks away from Steven's embarrassing moment. Bedtime. Doing well, mini packs. Thank you. How are you? Actually, I should ask that as well of everyone. I'm not very good at that, and I apologize. How's everyone's Sunday thus far? it is perfect temperature and perfect weather wherever you are do as you're told <laughs> well i would never dare tell you to do anything i would ask politely ginger you you only just got up um world time zones in my head are just not what i thought they were i haven't figured out i forgot about this i'm not sure how to deal with this this is the uh I might be able to just build this up a little bit the same way as the other one so that I can cover it in. 30 minutes, my Sunday will get a lot more lively. Well, awesome. Lively Sundays are good. All right, I'm going to leave this for now because this feels like it's a greater headache than I have the ability to deal with right now. I think I'm going to just have to fill that in. Or maybe I'll start to fill it in so that I can remember and then I want to cover it. I'll do something similar to what I did over there, and I can just sort of place stairs to uh, indicate that there is a way down. All right. Oh, and for what it's worth, folks, uh, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I'm thinking I might do a, a Monday run day tomorrow evening if anyone's around for it and up for it. Steven ESE tries his hand at Minecraft quote unquote speed running. It's going to be, uh, yeah, getting getting better and better at it, but I'm not uh, by no means expert level. But I enjoy it. I've actually, the, the more I do it, the more I actually find it's a really fun thing to do, so I'd like to try to get better at it. And I'm still of the mind where I'm not looking for the perfect seed, I'm looking to take whatever seed I'm given and play it through. Which is kind of neat. And last time I did four different seeds, four different worlds, and I did fairly well on all of them. Getting less work, <laughs> exactly. Is that what I said? Or is that what you were saying? It sounds like something I would say, but um, if it's something that you said, then uh, you and I are kindred spirits, and that is at one hundred. It's Steven speedrunning, that's right. My version of it. Whatever that is. What's it called when you're just like, you're going as fast as you can, but you're not necessarily going for the fastest time ever? Who did that? Alibar, look at you. Thank you very much for using your 2,000 viewpoints on Tuesday's Child. 
super flat, try a super flat speed run. I'm not sure what that. Hmm. What that would be. Just one second, sorry. Twitch seems totally pants on me. Tell me when you're live and concerned. Yes, sorry. Thank you, Cosmic. I was wondering why the. I, I didn't see that comment, so Co Cosmic, thanks for putting the Discord little blurb up there. You're all the bar. Two minutes on the timer for Tuesday's child. Here we go. Yeah, now, future Steven needs to figure out what that is first, and then maybe give it a go. That sounds like something that might be worth trying on a Tuesday. But for now, the Monday run day is the thing that I like to do because it rhymes. And it's also a time when both uh, the boys are playing Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons and Dungeons. And so it's an okay time where I'm not ignoring them as a parent and I can do a little bit of play. And Moon Girl has time to do her own thing and quietly not have to worry about me doing voices like this in close proximity. And I, I should let you know that my Discord is not necessarily crazy active all the time. I just, I start, literally started using it because of the Twitch notification blah. It's not good, so I thought, well, I might as well just put in when I'm about to do the thing that I'm doing. And so for that, it works perfectly good. And I would like to do more stuff on there someday, but life has gotten pretty busy in the last little while. Good busy, but doesn't leave much for time to play. So for now, Good spot to get notifications. And later, good spot to get notifications and more. More notifications. <laughs> Mostly that, and anytime there's a schedule change, I put that in the announcements as well. For now, for those of you who may not have been here a little while ago, I am working in the town. I'm getting the ground level ready for the town of Asteria. Which is like what I'm going to make a town called Asteria. And so these are all of the houses are going to be built to look like stairs or based off of stairs. And they all worship this giant temple, the stair temple on the left hand side here. Well, that is the two minute timer. Thank you very much, Aldebar, for using your 2000 points on Tuesday's Child. I sort of re realized that one wasn't very Igmundy in terms of words that I used, but just more the voice than anything. So the, basically the town of Asteria is going to be um, in this area here. I've not figured out exactly what it's going to look like yet. Um, and so the, the Temple of Ascension, uh, which is that big thing over there. All right, mini packs, no, worry, no worries, appreciate the alert. That big temple over there is was built to worship the goddess Asteria and the town is named after the goddess. It's just a speed run on a super flat world. Interesting. So do you like, are they, 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 I guess they have to be set seed because you just sort of, it's built to have all the things you need. Platinum, I guess? I'll look it up. That seems kind of interesting. It's got me intrigued. Nope, any seed. Interesting. No, I, I, I do need to see it now. I will look up a, uh, a YouTube video. And get myself to be educated on the matter. I can do super flat uh, with all biomes. Huh. Mog Swamp. Interesting. So is it just basically flat so that it's easier to get yourself used to doing them? Or like, not not necessarily that that's the reason, but flat makes it a bit easier. So it would be good to do that to get used to it. Oops. <laughs> not what I wanted. I, think I, I feel like I missed. Uh, where am I? Did I miss an area? No, I'm doing it right. Let's, let's deal with the area over the water. Okay. Do I want 
water around? I don't think I do. Yeah, let's just take this down. Thanks for letting me know that though, lag. I will end mini packs. I will check it out. Not gonna take out all the stone. But part of me wants to. Part of me feels like I feel. Oh, part of me feels like I want to fill this in. I also would like to save things without oh, without words being heard on a Sunday. Same thing. The end portals are always at the same coordinates, but it's not the easiest thing to speed run. Interesting. Ugh, underwater. Words are hard every day. Yeah, I pleasantly surprise myself on the occasional day where all the words kind of come out of my mouth exactly as I intend. Or like I'll have a meeting where I'm just <laughs> I feel like I was ridiculously articulate and all the thoughts were coherent. And everybody left feeling, wow, Steven knows what he's talking about. Not always the case. I often know what I'm talking about. I just don't feel like it comes across when I can't say the words I need to say. Okay, J Price. <laughs> Worms are hard. No, no. Worms are not hard. That's funny. So I got a bunch of cobblestone that I just... No point in taking that all out if I'm going to try to fill it all back in. All right. Oh, that's, uh, those crickets are my cue to go, uh, ready for a little nappy nap action. moment every now and again where I sound put together and I'm like, I know what I'm talking about. And my head is like, is <laughs> yep, exactly. It's interesting. At work, I have this, um, this issue sometimes where I will make suggestions that I know are sound suggestions. And, uh, but they don't necessarily get adopted. But then somebody else would say the same things. I think I mentioned this on stream before, like six months or a year later, they'll suggest exactly the same thing that I suggested and people are like that's amazing I was talking to one of my co-workers about it she suggested maybe you know like it, instead of me coming up with a, a suggestion and saying you know you know that's, what does everyone think about this she said maybe ending on a question where people might think well if you're questioning it maybe they'll question it um because the other person that we were talking my other colleague that we're talking about who will then might repeat something a while later not necessarily going I know. I'll put one over on Steven to make his suggestion again. Um, but also just realizing it's a good idea and forgetting that I said it and saying it again. They don't really make it sound like it's a question. And so they said, maybe if I say it in a way that sounds um, more sure of myself, um, then that would be, it would be sort of, I guess, not questioned by other people and would be adopted sooner. So to try to do that because there have been some things that and one of the things i can't talk about on stream because it'll give away too much about my my profession of where I, or where i work and stuff like that but um i'm not down with that you're all lovely people but i don't want to do that okay get some more cobble stone gotta get some more cobble um but there's a thing that's a big change not a, i guess depending how you look at it a fairly big change I proposed um, to, to uh, yeah, something about the, uh, the brand where I work. And I was sure it was the right thing. And I, I did a presentation on it and I, and basically at the end of my, at the end of the meeting, my team's like, yeah, that's, uh, that sounds good. And there was basically, I was so sure of it that I didn't go, Do you know what I mean? At the end, it was just, it was total buy-in by the team, and they sent it up to our man, our team's manager, then our, my manager's manager, and then to the CEO, and eventually got sign off on it. So it was pretty cool, pretty pleased with it. But it was one, of, it was one of those things that I was, I had done the work, and I was sure of it. And 
so I, I wasn't paying attention at the time, but looking back at it, it wasn't, I did not leave it in open-ended like, what do y'all think? No, no. This is better because. So I have to try to, not that I want to try to strong arm people into my opinion all the time, but when it's something that, you know, if, if I've done the research and I know it's better than what we're doing already, I just have to be uh, confident in the delivery. So we don't necessarily need this to be fully filled in. We can make it look like it's a little bit of an indent. Oops. So that's what future Steven needs to work on. Especially if he wants to show the people that put him in this temporary promotion that they made the right choice and want him to be the temporary choice for this position. Or be the permanent choice for this position. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we get to cover all that with dirt now. She looks pretty nice. I think. We'll find out. I do. People <laughs> like outside of streaming? I do. Some days, sadly, I do, because I enjoy streaming, and I would like to... It'd be, um... I think I would feel a lot less guilty about doing these... These tedious streams, or streams with tedious work. If I got to just, you know, if it was an everyday thing. Sometimes I wonder if I could stream full-time, would I? Or would I just run out of stuff to do? But I think if I streamed full-time, I wouldn't... I would do a bunch of different stuff on stream. And it wouldn't be like, well, I've played Minecraft now for 72 hours in two days. And I never want to play the game again. I'd be switching it up all over the place. Strategy, especially at the moment, new job. It's being quiet, listening to everything around me, and then just quietly getting on with what I've been asked to do. Playing the long game, nice. I think I may have said this either last stream or the stream before. Hey, Fulmers. Welcome on in. Good to see you. It's, uh... Even if you if you wanted to play the, the... The long game, that's awesome. But one of the things that I need to uh, soak in from a colleague who's retiring, who I'm sort of, you know, temporarily replacing right now, they've gone down to part-time. And, uh... So I'm backfilling his position. Um, he's... He's the master of getting information out of a meeting. So like, even if it's as simple as he'll... Is there a stone under that? There is stone under that. I don't like that there, so we'll dig that one out. He will be in, in, at the end of a meeting, even if it's as simple as saying, okay, just before we go, I just want to make sure. We talked about this, um, and we talked about this, and this is the desired outcome, and this is by when we need it, and this is the audience for the project. And basically, he just repeats all of the key elements he needs to move the product forward. So he's not necessarily adding anything new to it. But he leaves the meeting just basically assuring everyone that what they need has been heard. And, and that they basically they have confidence in the fact that, you know, yeah, what they said has been heard and that they've, they're, their project is in good hands, so that's that's something I really want to try to do as well. Is just okay. It just is something as simple as say this is him saying, okay, just a recap, and the recap, perfect. At the end of ego, yep, that's exactly it. And if he's repeated the entire thing, that means he's got all the notes, and he is going to be doing exactly what we need. It's a lot of dirty work. <laughs> I didn't catch up the first time, Volmers. Nice, indeed. Yeah, it, it is. It's like... When I started there, when I, when I was... I've been at the organization for a while. And when I, when I was younger there, I, it kind of... Honestly, it uh, annoyed me at first that he would repeat everything. I didn't get it. But as years have gone by and I've sort of become a more seasoned graphic designer and, and instead of just a, a designer who just does the task, now I have to manage the projects more. It's so valuable. So 
so I'm, uh, I too, Cosmic, am trying to steal that and as much else as I can from him before he retires. Yeah. In terms of designers I've seen, I've never seen anyone manage projects and client expectations as well as him. It's pretty cool. And I should tell him that as well, because it's not something often that... You know, these things just don't get said very often, but it's... It's a... It's a... A masterful skill to be able to do that, so... And now that I'm saying it out loud, I feel like I should be saying it to him as well. Just so you know, that thing you do... Amazing. It's funny then you look back at things when you're younger that used to annoy you like why why I just shake, shake myself shake my head at younger Steven. Oh Steven, you are such a babe. You knew no better. I don't even know if I scored down here for you. Oh, I didn't. This is just uh, actually a cave that goes nowhere. So let's just put a little bit of a light down here. Boop. So then nothing else comes down here. Started, uh... It is good leadership. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Yeah, and he's, he's not even a manager. He's just, uh... He's a senior designer. But just... Talent. He inspires. Let me put it that way. Cosmic, that's something I've started as a... I mean, to go on a new place. Anytime I see something or anyone does something great, I say thank you in a quick email. That's really good, too. With your team at the end of each meeting. Okay, you're doing this, and you're doing, person, doing that, and I'll take care of this other thing. Smart. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And I, one thing that I've been doing for years, and I was so afraid to do it for the longest time because I didn't see, I didn't want to seem like I was incompetent. But man, if you're not sure, ask the question. Saying, okay, I'm pretty sure I knew what you, I got what you meant, but can you just clarify this in, in case it just didn't? I can even say that sometimes. Like I think I don't know that what you said. <laughs> Entered my brain properly. I've gotten to know people well enough that they know I'm a little bit of a a dork. I said so, and then I'll just I'll ask just for clarification, rather than going away from the meeting that you've had with a client and going, "Wow, I really wish I had gotten more clarification on that." Just ask the question, or if somebody says, you know, says something specific about, "Okay, we need to do this," and if you're not sure what that thing is, find out. I guess, Aldebar, thinking back to what you had said earlier about it being vanilla tweaks. Sorry, I noticed the side of the dirt blocks again. I'm just wondering if we... Vanilla tweaks must be available for, for 119 now, is it? Just, uh, it was a part of what we had. Oh my goodness! I guess we're doing that right... Where did I hear that? Right here? Spot. Well, I don't want to put a blackstone stair right there. That feels odd. It was either right here or right here. One of these two. All right, Fulmers, thank you for using your 1,234 points on the perfect spot. So I don't want to use blackstone stairs because it doesn't really go with the motif of this. So I'm going to go right over here. Chop down a spruce tree quickly. And then we'll make said stairs. Nice. I can't remember exactly where I was. I'm going to do it just off to the side of the doorway, if that's fine. Boop. Boop. Stairs. Glorious stairs. Dear Stephen, why is building stairs so difficult for you today? Hmm? I don't know. Down to party, up for anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I have those there. I, I really need... I keep saying it. I really need to go update that list. 
times are just funny. I forgot, I could have just grabbed some stairs probably from in here. Look at that! With the collection. Spruce stairs. What? I got an eye roll on spruce stairs? They're my most placed stair. They're awesome. Wait, it was oak? Oak stairs? Oh, that's why. Well, Steven. You're supposed to know your stairs. Gosh darn it. All the stairs, exactly. I usually didn't know there were any oak trees over here. I just... I wasn't paying attention. I just assumed they were all spruce. So I was trying... I brought some oak over there. Originally. Not realizing there were any over here. Well, that was... Uh, the amateur moment. Well, what would you prefer? I can get some spruce stairs. Actually, let's do... Okay, we got we got the spruce stair. Be a song about stairs. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> 2,000 view points on sing along. Song about stairs. What? All right, well here we go. Two minutes on the timer. I will do my darndest, but I don't know that it's going to rhyme or anything like that. And now that we've moved past the stairs, I don't know how I'm going to be able to talk about it for two minutes. Stairs, glorious stairs. By the way, who did that? Cosmic, thank you for using your 2,000 viewpoints on Sing Along. So the thing I love about stairs is they'll take you where you need to go. Up and down and to and fro. Make it one of those non-rhyming songs. That's sort of my bag, yeah. But I do like stairs quite a bit. They helped me feel like I wasn't incompetent when I first started playing Minecraft. Oh, besides my songs not rhyming, they're almost never pitch perfect. I just basically talk to a note. Not a specific note. Wait a second, I should probably light that a bit more. Wait, I was going to put stairs here too. So that I... Oh, gosh darn it, Steven, you already covered that. And now you're undoing the work that you did. Well, I should make some stairs that go down here. Like I did over there. Like I did over there. Let's take a quick peek at these stairs. So I can make it look like it's an entrance and an exit. Like it was intentional with some thought. Now I'm not running at all, so I need to put some chicken crumbs on the ground. Chicken crumbs on the ground. Yeah. And when I turn to my right, I say, hey, those are some fine looking stairs. Are they oak stairs? They look like it. How is it that I've made so many oak stairs and not realized it? Oh, Steven, you miscounted earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did do eight. These chickens have crumbs. Sorry, Cosmic, that wasn't all about stairs, but thank you for using your 2,000 viewpoints on Sing Along. So this, maybe not chicken crumbs, chicken chunks. Chicken chunks, that sounds gross, but it's true. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it's, I, I think it's hilarious. Basically, every time you eat anything in Minecraft, I feel like you should have the, the, the cookie monster sound going, oh, nom, 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 because <laughs> never has a cookie actually made it down that monster's mouth. It's just bits everywhere. All right, so we need oak stairs. The oaken stair. <laughs> Chicken chunk. I don't know why the fake vomit sound makes me laugh, but it's a... Bit of a house favorite in terms of <laughs> childish things. That could be. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Eat chicken. Oh nom 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 nom. Eat bread. Oh nom nom nom. I think it'd be fantastic the first little while, and then might make me hate my life decisions soon thereafter. Oh, really low on energy. And all I have is watermelon, or all I have is uncooked potatoes. Has to eat 12 uncooked potatoes or whatever. 
I do have a Cookie Monster skin. Nice. Very nice. It is probably up there, so probably is a ringtone. All right, so let's figure out where we want to put these stairs. Uh, okay, we'll do this. We'll do these stairs too wide. Again, so what I'm going to do is actually take these out. So I can actually just do that. And do this. Actually, let's, since, we're, since we're taking out some dirt, let's do... I don't need dirt there or there, because I can place stairs there. I will need more stairs than I've got on me. But now that I've been made aware <laughs> that these are oak stairs, I know to go get the right time of right kind of wood going forward. What? Shovel? Where'd you go? Gotta do stairs right. I know. I know. I was actually meaning to get catch up on that stuff, but work has been work's been very busy in the last little while, which is kind of kind of cool. Kind of annoying. I haven't been able to keep up on stuffs. Uh, let's start them there. I had uh, I did have the best of intentions this week. Seems semi-intentional. Because I feel like we could probably go... I think go one higher. No, that's pretty good. And this way I can then fill in... This area. Wait, do you bang your head? You do not. Alright, good, 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 good. I hear you. It's been a long week. Surely it's December now or something. <laughs> no kidding. But I think one of the new responsibilities I have with uh, this position is uh, I'm doing less actual hands-on design work, which I find I do find difficult because I do enjoy getting into the details of graphic design. Um, and I'm doing more advice and support emails when somebody calls up and says, I have a brand question about this. Then, I have to, then I'm the one that responds to those which is fine. But it just means when I try to get to my actual project work, I go, holy smokes, like, how am I, how am I supposed to? Which, uh, which, which bothers me because then I'm not getting to people's stuff as quickly as I would like. Let's just make it a little bit kind of hidden there. It seems like a weird spot. This little covey area in here. I'm gonna grab dirt from in here because it does not need to be dirt. It was covered with dirt in the beginning, but it can be all cobbledy stone. Oops. We'll do some dirt on the uh, on the outside, so it looks like it was more naturally built this way as opposed to crafted that way. It's not necessary, but I feel like doing it. All right, here we go. Um, just search for a Cookie Monster ringtone, and there are loads. Nice. <laughs> There are probably better things to do, but I can't think of them. That's hilarious. What'd you do Sunday? I found out that there's a Cookie Monster wrap. There's nothing better you can do with your Sunday. Alright. Let's run back. Run back. To protection and sleep. Perfect spot. 
Actually, in the town of Asteria, having random... Random stairs placed about seems like it should be just par for the course. <laughs> there are so many uh, stairs embedded in the ground. Well, welcome to the town of Asteria. Where that's just the way things are. Well, let's talk about Cookie Monster. Guess he wants cookies now. This guy. Alright, so let's uh, continue on with this whole stone coverage. Do row by row. Oops, too far. Too far. Don't know why I didn't do this way before. This seems to be the quickest and most efficient way to do it. Exactly. Oops. Uh. Oh yeah, I forgot I could be double fist in this stuff. Stairs are a way of life in this town. Exactly. Exactly. If you're not actively looking for places for stairs in Asteria, what are you even doing there? Interesting. Here I thought placing it... Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> I don't like real flies buzzing around my head and stuff like that, so when I heard it in the game, I'm like, oh. This is one of those ambient sounds. Dear tree, you might you might be in the way, but I'm going to I'm gonna do you a solid and we'll uh We'll actually dig the stone around you a little bit. Make it dirt so that like we're not perching on your space too too much. that there as well. Good. That's probably good. Alright. Oh, what? I don't get... I didn't get any cookies? That's alright. I understand. I'm streaming and I should not be eating on stream. That's bad manners. These out. That'll be too close to the tree as well. Alright, that's good. Oops, take back all the stone. Extra lard, an extra lard cookie. <laughs> Dear Steven, this one will give you a heart attack, but it'll be delicious. I promise. Yours truly, Ginger the Lily. P.S. It's a ginger cookie, because what else would I give you? A lard ginger cookie with sprinkles and chocolate chips. <laughs> That's the way to do it, double fisting dirt. Place twice as much dirt without having to stop. We are doing this henceforth. As I like to say, henceforth. You grab that, switch hands, grab that. Lovely. Things I wish I had thought of previously. This. And lard cookies. But I'm not sure if second cup Second Cup is a Canadian company, it's like Starbucks, but I don't know if it exists anywhere else in the wild. Um, but just in the spirit of kind of, well, for one, Starbucks drinks have gotten crazy expensive lately. Huh. Interesting. But also in the spirit of, I guess, 
spending, if you're gonna buy an expensive coffee as a treat, you know, spending it on Canadian company as opposed to an American company, we thought, we'll just give this a go. We'll just, we'll give a second cup more attention than we normally would have. The Star Starbucks was our go-to place, but, and I tell you, the last few lattes we've had at second cup, so much better than Starbucks has been making. And they're like a dollar some cheaper, so. Oh yeah, the whole point of saying that was, and they have ginger cookies there, which, no word of a lie, they were, I, actually, let's get the ruler out, to the measuring device. Yeah, I'd say between between seven and eight, seven and eight inches wide in diameter. I wanted probably seven, but it was it was huge. It was a it was a thin ginger cookie, but it was it was massive, and it was a uh, two dollars and fifty cents. For cookie science, I caught that. All right, ginger, no worries. Appreciate the lurk. Learn a new word today. <laughs> Yeah, but it was a, a massive cookie. If you wanted a cookie at all at Starbucks, it would be at least, I know, 25 cent difference, 275, more likely $3 and some these days. And it would have been significantly smaller. It was like, so good. And nice and chewy too. Five out of five, would recommend. Really, did I just blow through that many? Oh, that's right. I changed. I changed what I had in my hand. That's gonna. It's probably gonna be my go-to treat at Starbucks. I'm not at Starbucks. The second cup going forward. See, Starbucks was our go-to place. And that's why I still have it in, in the tip of my tongue. Oops. I don't know. I'm not always a fan of Tim's coffee, but at the same time, if I'm just looking for a coffee, I don't... I think it's because you, you get used to it after a while. It is by far... It's far from the best coffee I've ever had. But it is but it is also the most consistent coffee I've had. And I don't drink my coffee black, so it's not... I also have the soy milk or oat milk or something with it. Kind of, uh, oops, add to the flavor. So it's not... I don't mind it, and maybe I don't mind it because being Canadian, I sort of kind of grew to like it over time. But it's not great, you're right. I'm sure that makes me a bad Canadian for saying it, but. But I've had, I've had far worse cups of coffee from Starbucks than I have had from Tim Hortons. It's like I can have a cup of coffee that tastes amazing from Starbucks and one that tastes like burnt water. And they charge you like $2 more for coffee. So I've gotten used to, um, I've gotten to enjoy the consistent coffee from Tim Hortons that tastes exactly the same every single time at a reasonable price, as opposed to being gouged for this premium coffee that sometimes tastes like, yeah, that just tastes the worst. So I don't know. They do have, I'm not sure if you had if they're over there where you live, uh, Cosmic, but there's, there are powdered drinks. There's a powdered hot chocolate drink, with my, which my sons like, but they also have a powdered drink called uh, French Vanilla. Holy smoke, so I like that drink. More than I should. It is a, it's not a healthy beverage, but it feels like a warm hug. It does, it's just so good. So if you've not had a chance to try the French Vanilla, I recommend it. Fulmers, I missed that's right. Bread with lard and spice was a thing for my father's generation, I think, in Denmark. Um, my dad as well. It was like, uh, I don't know if it was toasted, but it was bread. I don't know if it was lard or shortening, or maybe shortening was, like you could get, I think, vegetable-based shortening or lard-based shortening. Yeah, bread with thin layer of that and then brown sugar. That's what my dad used to do. I never tried it with the shortening. It just kind of seemed a little bit... Probably because it was cheaper than butter at the time, too. Because I've had it with, you know, just as a snack with with uh, mar margarine and uh, brown sugar before. It's been forever, but just because, you know, something my dad ate, I wanted to try it. 
but it did not. The idea of it being shortening did not appeal to me, so. So military bases we have a place called Green Bean Coffee. So much better than Starblech. <laughs> I love that Starblech. When uh, Frostbird and Firepith were younger, like wee 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 boys, um, they would sometimes um, put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> you know what I mean? They would, uh, instead of saying Starbucks, they would always say, we're going to Starbucks. Or, uh, um, I got a new, instead of saying I got a new record or something, I got a new record. So they would, they, they would always, not always, but often put the, the, the emphasis on the wrong syllable. It was cute. In Denmark, it was rye bread. Very big part of Danish culture. Nice. That would be... Well, you'd have the full taste. That would be good, actually. Full taste of uh, the rye bread. With... Uh, I still don't know that I could go for the lard. But like a thick slice of rye bread. I should say, I'm, I'm a fan of toast. Bread is good. But if you toast it, in my mind, um, depending on the bread, it's a million times better if you toast it. A million times. I'm all about the toast. Um, so a nice piece of toasted rye bread with margarine and brown sugar. Yeah, I can get on board with that. You need a person to please, Steven. I am. I have days where I, I'm eating peanut butter and toast for breakfast, and I think, you know what? If somebody told me you could only have one meal for the rest of your life, that would be on my list of choices I'd have to narrow, I'd have to consider. Toast and peanut butter, so good. Now, if you stuck toast and peanut butter against pizza, I think that toast and peanut butter might lose. But I would be sad to never have toast and peanut butter again. Some things I find I'm annoyingly picky with, but other things just, yeah, easy going. Oops. Uh, boop. <gasps> the last block of dirt that we have on us. We go back to the bulk of sh box of shulker. The bulk of shock suit? That's not right. Alright. Dear Steven, it's more convenient if you bring the box of shulker with you. the dirt back in the shelter box of dirt all right so cosmic are you sure like for sure that you don't mind me going back and getting more dirt because um it'd be super helpful and uh yeah awesome i'm actually not a fan of sourdough every now and then then again every now and again it's okay I'm typically not a first choice i don't know what's Actually, I like sourdough bread. I don't know that it's a first choice. Um, uh, Moon Girl. I don't know. Is is Costco like just a thing around the world now? Is it just a North American thing? I don't know. Um, but we have a, a Costco here, and they started carrying bread from a local bakery, and it's oatmeal molasses bread. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. In the UK as well, okay. That's one thing I'll say for them is like they, you know, it's all bulk stuff, but it seems to be not necessarily bulk stuff. At first we didn't want to go there. It was like, oh great, another giant massive American company that's coming and infiltrating Canada. Um, 
but a lot of the stuff they carry when it's the fresh produce it's all it's all local um but yeah so the the place where they get this bread it's probably it's probably a 10 minute drive away maybe a little bit less and it's and one of the things we look for as a family just like not all the time but if we can look at the ingredients on something and say wow there is you know a handful of ingredients and i can pronounce them all done and th that's this kind of bread it doesn't have any like ridiculously sounding scientifically scientific sounding preservatives added to it or anything like that so it's uh it's really good with probably about eight ingredients that i can pronounce so good oops that was uh not very well walked it ah! doing actually feels like we're doing a pretty good we'll still probably end up spending a lot of time here but this is looking like we're doing a putting in a good dent although i feel like i should go i'm missing some of the gray up here right we were doing it around the tree and then we just kind of walked away from said tree i'm gonna dig this down i think i'd like this to be flatter than at least the first little bit of it i don't want to get it too close to the tree Actually, been to Costco. I've been to Sam's Club. Are they similar? We kind of did what we could to avoid the big, you know, the thing places like Walmart and Costco for the longest time, just because, again, in terms of Canadian stores, that don't feel like there are many left in existence. Um, there's a lot of American box, big box stores that come up and just take over better prices plus it's what all the cool sometimes better prices but sometimes it's just comes with the prestige of being this brand that everyone wants to wear and then the canadian companies just sort of slowly get choked out and don't exist anymore um so we just avoided places like walmart and costco for the longest time this dirt out as well i'm going to cover it up cobblestone in and then we'll cover it up. I think this shovel's gonna die any second. Yeah. Let's go... I should have what I need to make a diamond sword, I think. Somewhere. In one of my boxes over here, I should have a diamond. Um, yes. But then, you know, as the, the family grew up, more food was concern, uh, consumed as people got older. It just had to become... Uh, you look for the better of the deals on food and you go, well, I guess we're going to Costco. And then you're like, holy smokes, Costco is kind of awesome. There are, there are a lot of Canadian products here. But, uh, yes. Um, sorry, I missed some. Is Costco and Sam's Club are similar? A Walmart, uh, Walmart brand, that's yeah. We don't judge on spelling here. We're trying to get words out as quickly as possible. Jump there for the diamond. I could just make a stone shovel, but I'd like something a little bit quicker. I feel like, like, there's a good chance I almost 100%, 99% chance I've got a diamond shovel somewhere already. Oh well. I'll just take one of these diamonds we have over here. Or I'll take all the diamonds, apparently. Shovel! And we'll put the diamonds back. Why were we talking about Costco? Oh yes, because of that bread. Shiny shovel indeed. Super very nice shiny shovel. Uh, do I have my shield on me? I do. Nice. Shake that shovel, shield, shield, shake that shovel, bow. Shake that shovel, shield, shield, shake it, shake it, shake it, yeah. It's been a while since we've done that. 
Steven has neither shook shovel nor shield in a very long time. Now Steven is just double fisting dirts. I'm just carrying two meter by meter blocks of uh, like meter cubes of dirt. No big deal. Just like hundreds of pounds in each hand. Jay Price, have you been around long enough to see this show? <laughs> the shovel shake? I feel like it's uh, an older thing that hasn't happened for a while anyway. I can't recall since the, la the, the last time I did it, to be honest. But I've never been able to figure out a good ending for it. It's always been, shake that shovel, shield, shield, shake that shovel, bow. And I'm like, I've got no idea what rhymes with bow or what goes with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, I'm glad it makes you laugh. Even if it's the first time you saw it, I'm glad it makes you laugh. Not like, well, time to lurk. <laughs> You've gone too far, Steven. Really, is it bedtime again already? I feel like I just went for a nap. <laughs> I'm not tired, mommy. Um, fine. Oh, ooh, the knees. Why the knees? Oop. I swear, someday I'll get the shoulder fixed. Someday. Boop. Chicken. Yeah, it's stupid that I say it that way all the time, but that's how I say it to my cat when I give her chicken. You want some chicken? <laughs> that's just a little me and cat moment. <laughs> that's right. But today is not that day. But today is a day we we laugh at doctors and their suggestions. I'll go to rehab when I'm good and ready. Hmm. Now this seems weird to have a singular wall there of dirt, so I'm not going to do that. You would make a nice little mound. However, you butt it up right against that one would look silly. So we're not going to do a corner like that. And we do this. That's better. Well, I don't know if it's better, but... That's what I choose to do. What is that bouncing over there? A oh, cobblestone. There we go. And shoulder get... Get my shoulder seen? Nah, I'm just gonna carry on as before. Make that... Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Cosmic. I am right there with you. Steven, are you okay? No, it's just my shoulder. Have you had it looked at yet? Nah. <laughs> Decidedly not, but thank you. Makes your physical therapist heart sad, right? Yeah. I know, I just, I keep meaning to. I have, like, right now I sort of have, uh, and it drives my wife crazy. Sort of, uh, what'd you call it? Not paralysis of uncertainty, but like, I don't know who to go to for uh, physical therapy on my shoulder. I looked it up in our local directory and I thought, all right, I'm going to just try to find a place that's close. Uh, but I'm not sure which of the two places that are close I should go to. I don't have any experience with them. And then I sort of asked on Facebook, does anybody have any, uh, any experience with these two physical therapists that are a five minute drive away? And then I get like nine different suggestions, nine suggestions for different places that are not what I asked for. Now I'm like, I don't know who to go to. All I wanted was information on two that were really close and convenient. Nobody recommended them. And they all recommended ones that were further away from my house. Like, oh, why? So I have a paralysis of indecision. I think that's what I, that's what I'm going to go with. I don't know that that's an actual thing. But that's what I'm choosing. I'll take that. 
thank you very much. And that, thank you very much. Choice paralysis. That's the one. Usually, what, like, I'm very particular when it comes to, like, different, like, software applications I'm going to buy and use because I want to make sure that... I don't want to buy something that it's just going to be like, yeah, oh, that's the first one I found. Let's just get it. Now, I will test... Uh, sometimes annoyingly test the heck out of like, sometimes like 10 different pieces of software that all do the same thing to make sure that when I'm spending my money on it it is the one that I'm going to be happy with for years and years and years um, I can't do that with a physical therapist like you go in and they, they kind of give you their recommendations and stuff and it's like well you're either going to take them or leave them Well, they, they all seem to do acupuncture, massage, um, sports physiotherapy. And it's like, if you look at their websites, they all list that they do exactly the same thing. Maybe I'll send it to you after Cosmic and you can have a, a look-see, but it's like, they all say they do the same thing. I mean, it's good that everyone has all of these good experiences with these different... Uh, physiotherapists but it's like maybe I've gotten used to working from home and the convenience of just like I need to go to a meeting I'm going to just click off one application and click on another one that like for me I love the idea of being able to go oh I have a physical you know a physio appointment in 10 minutes I'll put my shoes on and drive over there and still be early but oh did I miss Oh, J-Pride. Sorry, it's the color thing again. Cosmic, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, at the very least, your uh, UK recommendations would be easy for me to weed out. I would totally, totally appreciate the, uh, the, uh, the wanting to help. I feel like we're going to get some thunder. That looks like a uh, thunderous, lightning and thunderous rain. What are we doing here? We're doing all right. Uh, more gray this way. Uh, we're gonna dig that out. Okay. Yeah, if you don't mind. We should appreciate it. And at this point, I'm not even sure if physio will be able to do anything. And I'm not sure my doctor feels they will be either. Thankfully, I sort of saw that coming, so I wasn't uh, scared out of my uh, my shorts. We'll go take care of that, because as much as I think the thunder lightning in this game is cool sometimes, it's loud on stream. I gotta say, though, it sounds so good. I feel like it's one of the sounds they really did a good job on in this game. I know it's not like audio perfect but it makes me jump and sounds pretty darn convincing. <laughs> yep really was that long enough to actually none of those were here oh i'm not okay with this Realizing I have not enough food to run away from a creeper if they came to attack me, so let's uh So did everything die? There seem to be uh significantly fewer things over here. Alright, I might regret this, but There we go. That's what I was trying to do the other time and it did not work. Alright, I think we're good. Any cherished creepers? I did not see any. Hi friends, are the creepers your friends? Is that what you mean? Is that an actual hole in the mountain over there or just a rendering? 
was hole under the mountain. I thought it was a rendering thing for a second. I wouldn't put that past Minecraft. Oh yeah, I was saying, I don't even know if my, uh, my doctor thinks that physio will help these days anymore because, uh, after getting the x-ray, it's, uh, looks like a, what do you say, calcified, calcium buildup, calcified, uh, I forget. Basically, I have an old soccer injury from when I was younger in my kind of neck shoulder area here and my, I can't, I can't rotate this, I think I did it before back that way without it hurting a lot and there's a calcium buildup in and around the bones so I don't know that physio would actually be able to do anything I think that's part of the reason why I'm just hesitating it's like well physio is not going to do anything why am I going to put the effort into it but I should do it as a step to be sure all right box shulker all figured out. Oops. Get this all covered up. And then, uh, thank you very much, Cosmic. I will go back and raid your cellar. And now talking about the, uh, it's been a while since we spoke about it, but I have not been able to get rid of, uh, second cup ginger cookies from my mind. Super delicious. Oops, I need to put that. Oh yes, I do. Cover up that stone. And there we are. Dressing this up so lovingly. I'm just glad I just decided to stop digging up all the stone and replacing it because that would take forever. All right. Oh, I am no longer. Oh no, I'm good. I was gonna say I'm no longer a holder of dirt. That is not true. I have but one stack remains. The church creeper to blow up another church creeper and you get a church creeper head. Oh, interesting. Oh, all the friends that came to visit in the storm. I'm sorry, I'm just focused on the dirt placing and I apologize that I'm missing some of the uh, conversation. I don't like the, I'm gonna dig this back a little bit. It doesn't even go to the doctor because they will blame it on the same thing they do always. Wait, sore shoulder, lose weight. Sore throat, lose weight. Yeah. For me, when my I like, I have days where my doctor can be a little bit frustrating, but overall, I kind of like him. But sometimes when he's busy, it just feels a little bit dismissive. It's really bad shoulder pain from this uh, pain in my leg from running, and I like to figure out, figure it out so I can continue running. Oh, well, it's easy. Stop running. No, no, no. I, I want to. I want to actually get better so I can run. No, no, no. Go biking. It's better on your joints. But I, 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 I want to run. No, biking. Oh. Anybody who runs and loves running knows. There's nothing like running. Biking is great, but it's like, as an exercise, I can bike fairly fast and then stop and then just coast for a significant period of time. And for me, it's like, um, running, you just, you have to make yourself go. Like, you have to propel your body the entire time. It's like walking, though. Like, you know, if you stop walking, you just... You're not going anywhere, so... It involves a lot more... I don't want to say discipline, because everybody can be disciplined and dedicated to cycling or running. But for, for me, running feels like more of a commitment of exercise. If you're... <laughs> if you run five kilometers, your legs are moving the entire five kilometers. Whereas biking, it's possible. It is possible that you're pedaling only half the time. Because if you go if you go half uphill and then the rest is downhill, like or you're pedaling and it's just barely. 
So for me, it's while well, I do enjoy getting out and biking with the family, and I do enjoy cycling, it just doesn't have the same feel to me as running. And because I have to, you know, exert more energy while running, it just feels like it's more of a therapeutic sort of a... I don't think I've seen that before. What? That's beautiful. Oh, I think that's awesome. I think I may have seen you doing some... Uh... It looks familiar. Maybe you were chatting about it in Discord or something, but that looks awesome. That's so good. Well done. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, running for me, it's just... I can get it... Sometimes I'm... I can just think things through while I'm running, like whether it's a work-related thing or just... You know, just frustrations I'm having with... I can't come up with streaming ideas or something. It's I feel like running is where I can go and clear my head. Or I can just run. And it's, it feels like some days I can run and just not think about anything. I just have the music going in my head. And sometimes it's just like... Because I've got ankle and knee problems from soccer as well. Sometimes I... Some days I feel like when I'm running, I'm literally just thinking about foot placement knee angle foot placement knee angle just and just like making these slight adjustments the entire time to find out the least painful way to do it and then i find a sweet spot where there's no pain and i'm going oh that's good just focus on that and not change it but yeah never ride um never ride a bike i guess the fear of falling on concrete same with roller skates yeah that yeah i can totally see that it's if you wipe out on a bike if you wipe out on a bike it's going to hurt more there's, there'd be truth to them, that reality. But I do, I do miss biking to work. That was a, a really nice thing. See, do you have, I could give you a bunch of coal in exchange for your dirt. Huh. And you've got more dirt. Dia Cosmic. You've got the goods. Nice. Uh, actually, crafting table. Let's do this. Or wait. Do I have enough to do this? I do not. That was hopeful. Cool, man. That's a lot of coal. Burn for ages. Nice. And that frees up some space. Goody. Um, dirt, 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 dirt. Cobblestone? You have more cobblestone than you will ever need. Where have you been spending most of your time, Cosmic? Just did it in the uh, 118 world? It's a beautiful spot. I still want to, uh. I still want to add more leaves to your tree. We should talk about your tree as well because. Originally, it was going to be, uh, we were going to set it up as a, like a two-story house on the inside. We should figure that out. I think that would be, a, if you want to do that sometime, Cosmic, we can plan that out and make it a, a co-stream on it. Or if you want to stream and I'll be in yours, or I'll stream and you can be in mine kind of thing, we can just, whether it's a co-stream or just a collab, I think that would be a fun thing to do. Wait, did I finish the top off? I did. 118 interior and exploring. <laughs> Sounds like life. Where'd you go? I went backpacking. Never looked back. <laughs> and then, dude, dude. Nope. Learn from your mistakes, Steven. You need a spot for the box of shelter. Cool. Well, thank you very much for the dirt, Cosmic. I'm getting a cruiser bike, and it's been so good for my confidence, although I have uh, no audio or video anymore. And it's back. Sheesh. Well, I'm very sorry to hear, hear you're having internet woes. It's no fun. Um, I think this time I just feel like going through the nether. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to run my little butt off over here to the nether. Or the nether portal. Wait, do I have any gold on? 
I do not. Therefore, we shan't go to the nether. All right. Guess you can't take off on the stairs. Good thing I checked my uh, my helmet. How much in the 118? Yeah. I would like to get a cruiser bike at some point. So the more I miss biking to work, but the more I think about biking to work, the more I think it'd be kind of interesting. Wouldn't be as easy, but having a folding bike. Because I just, the more I think about it, the, the less I like leaving my bike outside. Not that I have a terribly new bike that would get stolen a lot, but. Sure, I'm coming back to the normal area soon. We can work something out. Cool. I mean, I've got some dirt coverage and project and Asteria stuff to keep me busy here for a while. This is good. I just, just thinking forward, I think we could figure out the inside of that. It's been a while. Name. <laughs> Dearest Steve. I'd love to work with you again at some point, but not until you get your stuff all cleaned up. Yours truly, Cosmic Dancer, UK. <sighs> I don't know what that was, but it was what it was. And I'm not taking it back. Oh, I keep forgetting. I could have grabbed more dirt and put it in my offhand. Oh, really? An ender person. Oh, yeah. We're going right in with the axe. Sidestep. Oh. There we go. Free arrows. Love them. Where did that ender dude go? Ender dude. Oh, I see you over there. Sneaky duo. Oh! There you are. Come on! Let's do this! And no pearls for me. I thought I was going to get a pearl out of that. I forget what I wanted a pearl for. There was a thing that I wanted a pearl for recently and I cannot remember. So wait a second, is this gray area here? How big is this little... This hillside thingy? Is it worth covering? That's pretty... That's sizable. I don't know if it's worth covering with dirt or not. Or if I should take it down. I feel like this one, now that I take a closer look at it, I feel like this is sort of in my way. What are we doing for time? I have not been paying close attention. Oh, 11.30. Okay, we're good. I think I've had a... St Those mountains are wonky, though. Am I going to take mountains down now? That needs to come down, because that's an aberration. All right, some of these mountains are just painful to look at. So I could either take them down. I might take that down. I do I do like the shape of this. Like, what is that? Seriously, what is that? If they were connected, then maybe I could see. Maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll connect them and make them a thing. These flat walls here. This must have been like the part of the slice that happened with 118 or something like that. That's the only thing I can think of. What? It's not shove? I thought it was shove. But either way, I think we're going to take this down because this is looking like... Yeah, even that slice there, this is just weird. Although there is an area left unexplored down there, hello. Interesting. Hmm? This looks exciting and like regret. Regret.
great if I could click on the right. Is that it? As far as we go. She looks more and more like disappointment than anything else. Gosh darn it. Fine. Take the iron and I'm going to leave. Just put some torches on the in the middle to let myself know. There's no need to go down there. Yeah, torches are pretty great. All right. So now that I know I've been down there, so I'm not. I'm going to continue covering the dirt or covering the stone with dirt. And then I need to go and um, maybe I'll get a beacon, I'll steal a beacon. Actually, I've never made a beacon on my own. Maybe that's what we'll do is we will... Seems like a beacon's a good thing to have in your back pocket. Be uncomfortable when sitting in a restaurant to have a beacon in your back pocket. However, long run, I think having a beacon in your back pocket would be a good idea. So I don't have to go and steal one from uh, Dartmouth Meadows every time I want one. Um, right, let's take a look at the gray. Actually, I need to turn around and go finish off this gray. I'm doing a pretty good job of uh, getting up with all of this gray. So that always annoys me. I don't know why that annoys me, but when there's an indent like that. if this is an area I was working in or not. But we need to address it. And is this the gray area I was looking at? It is. It's a weird one. It's weird that there's grass underneath. I know not how I feel about that. Therefore, I should fill it in. I may not get all of the gray filled. flower go there pay attention red flower go where I would like you to go boop, boop, boop. hey it was transplanted I know I know I know I know Cosmic oh believe me I'm aware that you're on stream <laughs> even when you're not on stream and I do something with the flowers I, I kind of go She's not, she's not here. <laughs> but then I always make sure I put them back somewhere. <laughs> Boss us. That would always make... That, I've gotten used to it, but that used to throw me off every time I'd see it in Minecraft chat. Boss sus. What's Boss sus? Mean? Who is this Boss and why are they sus? Not right. Sheepy, 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 sheepy. Sheepy, 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 sheepy. Wait, did I get all the gray? <gasps> I don't believe there's any. Oh, there's gray over there, which is that away. Little patch of gray. Nope, that would be. That's weird. Oh, hit the wrong key. <laughs> of course I did. When do I not? Am I right? Okay, so this gray area here is just going to come down. Yep. The worst, and always unexpected times. I'm going to take these out and replace them. I don't mind a bit of a hill. Actually, those two can stay as they are. That's good. So I'll probably end up taking this hill down now that I think of it, because this height... Okay, what gray areas are left to do without us taking down a hill? We can still go over and go south. 
Go south, young man. Go south. I'll do that. I'm actually wondering how much of this is going to stay or if I'll end up taking this down as well. I'll probably, um... Oops. Leave a bunch of this, but I'll probably also taper some of it down so that it's a hill and not just a, a drop off on the other side. We've got a rhythm. All right, Jay Price, appreciate the lurk. Oh. We are a good employee. Two hands full of materials at all times. See, I want that to work. Exactly. I want that to work every time, but it's... That pause always often makes me fall into the hole. The pit of despair. Yeah, we need to go to bed. Mm. Whoa, waste of rocket, Steven. I appreciate your gusto. Wanted to get to bed on time, but just calm down. Calm yourself down. All right, we are. There we are. Always slightly disoriented when I wake up in the morning. True for real life as well. Oh, I was hoping I could swoop back up a little bit there. But today is not the day. Not. I feel like I want these to be dirt as well. It's at least for a little bit of visibility. There, so that you see the stairs. You see the stone down there. There's not much you can do about it. But that's better. She always had a pocket full of fire. <laughs> it'd be also fantastic. It'd be always fantastic for entertainment and danger. Mostly danger. It's oh. weird. Wonder if I dug this out one time just for coal and decided, eh, filling that is future Steven's problem. It sounds like something I would do. No, we were going back and forth like this. I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as we do the thing. Yeah, it's, it is definitely one of the sleepier time songs. Until you get to, uh, I think, halfway through, then it's like, oh, the dream just gets interesting. Like, right here. Then it feels like you're in a very basic Mario game. <laughs> uh, the safety factor would uh, definitely be there with glitter. But it wouldn't be the same. Oh, speaking of fireworks, just very loosely, uh, because I don't want to give anything away. Has anybody watched uh, Paper Girls yet? We watched the first episode of it last night on Amazon Prime. And I think they did a pretty good job with it. Uh, stayed pretty true to the, the comic book so far. Very much, in, I mean, we'd only just started watching it so far. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's good. I think they released all of the episodes so far, but we um, 
Oh, just one sec. I'll be right back. Sorry, I realized that departure was super random, but thanks, Twitch. Thank you all for this. So this is the uh, the complete the complete story. So I'd read the entire thing bit by bit, uh, just when we'd go to either the library or to our local bookstore. They had them on display there, so we would go and get a latte at Starbucks in in chapters, and we'd sit down and I'd read them all. But I was meant to buy them. And so then seeing that the show was coming reminded me that I wanted to buy them. And so then I was able to use some of my Twitch money to go get the uh, the complete set. So it's pretty great. Very pleased with it. So thank you very much, y'all. And so <laughs> both Frostburn and Firepith devoured the book over the weekend in one sitting. So it was just, went, oh, that's cool. Read, sat down and yeah, it was on Fridays. Fr Friday, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm very pleased with it. And so being able to reread it right now, excuse me, and and the uh, it's it's neat to see how true they're able to stay to the story so far. It's it's fresh in mind, which is pretty neat. And definitely something I'm going to be ch chatting about one of these uh, one of these fine um, Citadel Cafe podcasts. Not the next one, though. The next one we're going to talk about, we're going to wrap up our thoughts and feelings on Ms. Marvel. But I, I probably once we have a chance to watch the entire thing, I'll talk about it. I'm not sure if it's going to be... Uh, if Joel will be interested in watching it or not, if it's uh, up his alley, but it's good. Oh... Uh, Lava. That's cool. It's funny now that every after watching Frostburn speed run so many times, every time I hear lava, I'm like, I can build a portal there. No, no, no. We have enough portals around. I want to learn more about uh, portals are neat, but I'm curious to know more about uh, like the teleporters or whatever. If those are vanilla, I'm just I'm curious to know why people don't use use them more often. I'm made of cobblestone. I need filler. <laughs> That's right. Alistair! Oh, gosh darn it. Let's get some food in our bellies. And we'll go grab and go back and grab some cobblestone and Fill in this area. So apparently, I'm just gonna throw, throw dirt at the ground as well. I'll try to pull a frost burn here. Oh, nice! That works so well. I'm gonna use that forever now. Come on. All right, what's going on here? change direction at the last second you can just zoom 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 along and then just dip down at the last second you're good that amuses me <laughs> I, would, I totally would have taken my nose off but i'm going to use that forever now good thing my face is flat <laughs> i don't even have a nose <laughs> maybe i did and i just took it off Exactly. <laughs> Oops. Uh, fill that in.
I think the speed I was going, I probably left it spread across a, a large swath of it. As gross as it sounds to say it loud, there's like a nose smear left somewhere, somewhere along the way. The snail trail of noses, as it were. That's gross. <laughs> Ew. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> So I do have that uh, concrete making area over here that I've sort of left set up. I might move that somewhere somewhere else. I'm not really sure. I feel like it'd be kind of cool to have one of these actually in the town somewhere. So I might take it out of the ground and build it into a stair-shaped structure. Feels like that's what I should do. I also need to make a vine farm. I need to put frost bur uh, fire pits. Vine farm back into the mix. Oh, oh. Turn it, Steven. Yeah, I forgot about it too. And I don't I don't have any immediate need for it, but I do the other day I was thinking about Oh yeah, and then I've got that over there. Oh no, I don't have that over there anymore. I need to put that thing back somewhere. So it was less of a remembering because I needed it, it was more thinking that I still had it, but I remembered that it was gone. Crickets. Yep, I will be using that forever now. Oh. Too early. Sips tea then. Right, there we go. Oh. Man, the headache you'd have in real life doing that, abusing it until you accidentally... S <laughs> exactly. That'd be one heck of a yard sale. How did you die? I was three centimeters from the ground and exploded. <laughs> There were goods everywhere. Oops. Um, how are we? Closer to that hill. Not very close. Oh, this does seem high-ish here. I'll probably... Shall I take... Uh, I shall probably take all of this dirt off here. And then... Uh, stop building this part up with dirt, and I will actually probably start leveling it down the hillside on the other the other side. This is naturally generated, so I'll probably leave that. How much space do we have on us? Maybe I'll just start digging it down. So we're going to do the thing. Whoa! This is, uh, I did not know this one was down here. Neat. There's the lava, exactly. Well, this feels like it needs to be filled in. Why? I'm not entirely sure. It just annoys me having a lake under the water. Actually, if I'm going to take... Whatever. Well, I will leave it. I don't even know exactly what I'm doing yet. Uh, except for the fact that I'm leveling, leveling some of this out. So I'll leave that. I'll take the top off of this. Oops. Hooray, Stephen. Hooray. 
You are the champion digger today. Before that, yeah, exactly. I give it four minutes tops. Not that I need to have stone, but stone is more desirable than cobblestone. So, what I'll probably do is just once I get filled up with goodies. Oh, hello there, Joel. Hello there, Mr. Duggan. Duggan, Duggan. See if he sees that at all. Sometimes I find when he joins in, he's got a focus. He doesn't always see it right away. So maybe next time, what I'll do is I'll try to get a a beacon. I don't even know it's worth going to grab a beacon just for this one little hill here. Actually, I need to change that um, that Nightbot command because Joel did just release the last episode of uh, the podcast the other day. Yeah, so I don't know if it's worth getting a beacon for just a little, for a wee hill like this. Just have to make sure I don't lose this pickaxe because that would make me sad face for sure. Oh, Joel is up a bit early. There you go. So perhaps we'll do a raid on Joel then today. I usually do Alibar when I'm done. And nothing against Alibar, switching over to Joel then. Since we often do Alibar, let's switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Read Mr. Joel Duggan. No, it's uh, one behind. I think it was uh, either yesterday. No, this is Sunday. I think he released it on Friday. Thursday or Friday. I like this. As I was saying earlier, it's been a busy week and just. Basically, when I was done working and my focus was like, all right, done for the day. And just. Yeah, I forgot to go back and do the thing. I reposted it when he posted it, but that's about all I added the energy for. Coal, coal, coal is good. Coal burns better than wood. Well, it burns longer, not better. Wood is not nearly as clean. Wait, what was down here? Did I fill in something under here? I must have, if there's a cobblestone here. Free sing along, that's right. Oh yeah, okay, I filled that in from that side over there. Never mind. I've forgotten because there was a, I think there's some something I dug down, a tunnel in here that I filled in, so. Jody Leary is in the house. Hello, welcome on in. Good of you to join in. We are in the process of taking down uh, a wee stone hill because it's in the way. And while doing so, we found some coals. We thought, you know what? It's never not a good resource. And the experience points you get with it? Nice. I'm gonna fill those back in though. I need to figure out exactly, exactly. Coal is good. Not for the environment, but for Minecraft play. <laughs> I always feel like I gotta clarify. It's not a clean fuel source, children. But it'll light the way in a dark cave. And you can fit hundreds of them in your back pocket. <laughs> Minecraft. Hooray! Doing the thing. Oops. There's some coal behind. Leave no coal behind. 
leveling out of the hill. And uh, Cosmic, just before you say anything, I'm going to take this flower to make sure that I've got a spot for flowers. And cook a lot. Many, there's so many, exactly, in Minecraft. Like last stream you and I did together. I hate getting slapped by dead children. I'm just going to change my skin in Minecraft. I've got my server mate's head on a shelf in Minecraft. <laughs> this uh, diamond shovel is actually pretty robust. Deforce entire jungle in Minecraft, exactly. And. <laughs> And replant it and have it regrow in a week in Minecraft. And if you could replant trees that way in real life, it's so good. We got a bunch of dirt here that we can use. That's good. Space do we have still? Plenty of space. Alright, so not so much placing dirt at the moment anymore. We're gonna be taking dirt down for the next 25 minutes or so. So did we hear back from Joel? Um in chat here? I do not believe we did. Did not see it. Well, hello there, Mr. Duggett. No. We were ignored. The nerve. I think he has more important things to do than chat with me. What's he thinking? I know. He can drive himself to the gym next week. <laughs> next week. That's just mean. I can't do that. Like, I can't even pretend to be mean. Without laughing. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if Joel will do the sleeping from now on. <laughs> nice. Alright, I think we need to just go through here and see what level we're at, at the other, on the other side. I feel like this would probably be a reasonable... Uh, I don't know if that's a reasonable height to keep it, but I can taper down from there. There we go. Just like that. The night is gone. I might need to bring it down another level. Maybe we will get a beacon. I mean, this would definitely, um, I'd, I'd basically be setting up the beacon for one stream, probably. Unless I decide I want to take that down as well. Maybe I'll bring the beacon and place it in this area right here. Hmm. Can we? Oh, it despawned. There was a zombie way, way over there. I was going to try to... Try my luck hitting it, but... Not today. For fun, let's see if we can hit that coal block. I don't know why I'm doing this suddenly, but probably because I had a long distance shot in mind. That was pretty close. First shot, one block below. I don't feel like wasting arrows, but I'm a little bit pleased that that was actually pretty darn good. So now, let's uh, not dig any more down. I figure if we gonna do chat says hi Joel <laughs> hi Joel what did you mean chat says hi Steven either way hello if that is meant for me, hello chat, hello. Oh, 
probably just I'll probably just leave this open for now and let it uh let it be what it is. And figure it out. Just the same message in his chat. Oh, I just got to it first. Gotcha. Well then, hello, Joel. Hello, hello. And any, any, and any hellos that came back from Joel's chat, hello to you as well. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, we were, we were de-dirting de the place. Cleaning up, getting rid of all the dirt. I'll have to look up beacons again. I've only actually borrowed one once. I've only so I've only set up a beacon. I think once or twice because I put it in the wrong spot the first time. But I do not remember much about them. Oops! More dirt. flowers and things actually a little box of shulker you're full all right well this is an unusual conundrum conundrum all right the wither for a nether star not sure if the weather squisher is working ah gotcha Probably stone back then. It should be this one, this one. Because we're going to get a bunch more cobblestone where we just where we're digging now. I feel like this is a song we get a lot on stream. Not complaining, just observing. Now we have plenty of room for dirt. And any dirt we have left over after this is all done, we take back to Deer Cosmic's place. Almost there. Yeah, I think if I think for this point, instead of me making, since the uh, the wither squisher squisher might not be working, I'll probably just go and steal uh, the um. What are those called again? The nether star. Yeah. I'll just go dis dismantle a, a beacon from. Starmage Meadows again. Oh, another little cool V in here. Look at that. So many cool little treasure trove areas. Uh, we can leave that there. So we'll probably end up taking this down. I don't have to go much further than that. So this dirt here. in minecarts and I don't know if minecarts have been knocked out of place so you'd have to place them back yeah and I'm not I'm not familiar with enough with how that works enough to actually go yeah I'm confident in putting this together my luck I'd unleash a wither that's probably just what would happen as I would just unleash the wither into the world with no ability to kill it or to send it back once it came Alright. Oops. 
Have you ever used it, Cosmic? Have you ever, have you ever um, defeated your own your own wither? I've never actually seen one. I saw CJ fight one. That's, that's the only time I've actually seen seen a battle with one. Seemed like quite the terrifying thing. Gotcha. Alright, so I guess we've got our mark here. Let's just... Let's dig this... This out. We'll make a... Cut a swath. Is that what it is? Cut a swath? I believe that's the word. Bouncy, bouncy swing. So that it's cut all the way through. Alright, so I'll just use dirt to go up for now because that seems to be the easier thing to do. So that is the cut all the way through. Now we set up. Just dig across. It's now turned into a clearing stream as opposed to a placing stream. That's alright. Changes of pace and intent are common. And necessary when playing Minecraft. Mm, coal, coal, coal. It's an everything stream, that's right. Like an everything bagel, but not as tasty. Actually, no, that's not what I meant to do. So now that we've cleared that swath, that's what I meant to do. So now we can sort of take from the top down because we know where to stop. But the wither legitimately once in a cave I made a beacon. Uh, in a cave and I made a beacon for the first time. Nice, when was that, Stardust? Is that a recent thing or uh, was when I was a new Minecrafter kind of tale? I've been playing for, a, I guess legitimately playing for years now, but I just, I just feel like there's so many things I have not not done on my own that I should do. I think I do need to up the up the efficiency on this. I do you want to make this pickaxe an efficiency five? Almost bedtime again. Will Jewel handle it? If he started streaming, he'll probably. I don't know if he likes to do it in the dark. Or stream in the dark or not. It depends on what he's working on, but I feel like most of the stuff he's working on right now is out in the uh, out in the open, so he probably wants daylight. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a bagel now either. Got it, me though. Um, yeah, we gotta fly back. Might as well go to sleep. And breakfast yet? A bagel may be in my future. Ooh, very nice, very nice. I do miss everything bagels. I haven't had them in a long time. Um, yeah, for digestive reasons, onion and garlic just don't sit well with me. Although I miss garlic, it is good. But um, I do not miss poppy seeds on bagels. I have no idea why they use poppy seeds. I can't taste them. They are a waste of uh, wasted ingredient <laughs> on me because they just they're a mess. They go everywhere. I do not feel like they taste good. 
all they do is get all over the place. Personally. Oops. Shoot. Uh, right there. Boop. And five. So we, got, we have a whack of coal. Might as well just uh, let's stick this over here. This feels to be this feels to me like the most recent place of the place thing. Did I test coal blocks downstairs? Black wool. Black coal. All right, one second, folks. We're doing uh, another detour. Completely different topic change. So where are you? So what is that? That's black wool. And coal. And what are you? You're black concrete. Right? Black concrete. Interesting. I feel like I would have tried black coal before. Oh, that's what it is. The, the, the tint of it's too different. It's kind of a yellow. This is, uh, the wool is definitely a bit of more of a blue black. I'm like, why didn't I try that? It looks closer. What I would like. But... All right, never mind. Back to the upper thing. Cosmic. Uh, what did I miss? Last gene was the first time I legitimately fought the Wither. Most of the time I like to watch other mobs fight the Wither in creative mode. Oh, interesting. So that basically you can still get the have the benefit of um, a Wither dying without actually having to fight it. That sounds cool. I talked about your favorite meals earlier. Mine would have to be a toasted bagel with bacon and avocado. That does sound very good. Nice. Still looking at how to comment. <laughs> it's the only thing I asked for on my birthday. That's cool. Zoomy zoom. Wait a second. Oh, I was trying to land on the block. <laughs> Let's see if I could do it before I said anything. I feel like that was pretty close. Not great. So we can only do this a tiny bit longer because A, we're running out of time, and B, we're running out of pickaxe. And I do not want to lose my uh, another right pickaxe. Right, keep, a, keep an eye on that red line on the pickaxe. Do not lose. Do not lose. Oops, I forgot that. Totally forgot this part. Oh my goodness. That red line just dropped all the way down. I guess we're done digging. <laughs> Actually, let's, let's finish off the stream by going to replenish this then. We're going to the nether. Pretty sure I had some gold. Huh. Thought I had a gold helmet. But apparently I do not. Alright, we're taking this off for sure. Putting the um Elytra. Elytra. Elytri. No, it's definitely not E at the end, but. I get to put on something gold. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to find now. I could have swore it had some, uh... Oh. Amateur hour on Minecraft. Oh. Alright then. I don't not remember. I don't not remember. I do not remember. Raw gold. I don't have time for raw gold at the moment. Seriously. Where did this stuff go? I know I had gold. 
Unless I lost my gold helmet and just didn't even realize it. Entirely possible. It did take forever to get three wither skulls from the wither skeletons, even with looting three swords. And what are the three skulls for? What do you do with the three skulls then? 100 wither skeletons to get three skulls from looting. Oh, I see what you mean. Wither skeletons. My brain was thinking withers. I'm like, why did you fight the withers so many times? Or why did you have to? Alright, there we get some gold at least. Headgear time. Uh, put that back in here. I do not need you. Oh, I probably left the, um, I probably totally left, uh, the gold helmet in the chest back in World 118, the 118 area. Cosmic, that's probably what happened. Actually, none of you need to see me go and, uh, replenish my... My swat, my, uh, my pickaxe. I'm just gonna go in the safe area here. I think we'll just call the quits, uh, call the quits on the stream like three minutes early. How about that? How about that? All right, everyone, thank you very much for being here. Always a pleasure to have you. And thanks for the folks who came in in the last 20 minutes or so. It's, I don't want to say especially because I don't like to kind of put anyone above anyone else, but Jody, I feel like it's been a little while since I've seen you, so thanks for popping by. Stardust, Cosmic, and Jay Price, and all the others that are still here, always a pleasure to have you. Thanks for being here this fine Sunday. Um, as I mentioned, I'm thinking about doing a um, a Monday run day stream tomorrow evening, but we're also recording the um, Citadel Cafe podcast this week. So I don't know that I have enough time to do show notes for Wednesday and actually get uh, some speed running in tomorrow. So we shall see. But thank you very much everyone for being here. Stay awesome, and we'll see you in someone's stream sometime soon. So if you want to hang on for some Minecraft, more Minecrafty goodness, we're actually going to go raid Joel this time. So hang tight, and we'll head over there in a moment. Thanks, everyone. Bye.